Well, I couldn't quite step out of the sewing room yet. Um, I had these little two and a half inch uh, squares left over after I put them all up on my board, all the ones that I need for the borders and horizontal sashing up on the board. So I've had this stack and I keep wondering, how did I end up with this? But this is left over and it's a lot of this cream color. And this is left over from the cuttings of the Lucky Star quilt. And they were big enough rectangles that I certainly couldn't just toss them. So they've been sitting around and I'm thinking, how can I use these? They're certainly not of uniform size, but I can certainly get two and a half inch blocks out of them. So I'm following the lead of Sandy Grog. Yep, that's you, Sandy. And I figured, well, you know what? I could just start doing four patches. I've got all of this. I say all of this. I've got, you know, a lot, a lot of pieces left over here for my jelly roll. And I could just do them, like you say, Sandy, for as far as it'll go. Maybe it'll be a baby quilt. Maybe it'll be a bag. I don't know yet. But there we go. Could be something very colorful. I like it. And if I can use some of these, that will be awesome. So I just had to sew those together and see what it looked like. And uh, that will be very, very cool. I like it. So there we go. I'm not going to do any more cutting today. It's time to step out. But I think that's cool. It's nice to know I can do that. And I've got those pieces that I can use. So using up scraps is always a great thing to do. Thanks for watching.